The uh, contenders, uh, Atlanta team's been doing pretty well. We started off pretty slow. Uh, we found some ways to fix our issues, uh, picked up another player, swapped some roles around, um, added another coach, all that and like after the first couple weeks. So uh, all that's helped. Um, I think we kind of back to where we were before. Peter again, just gonna casually walk forward and he knows that he has Primal as a trump card in reserve. Now he's gonna use it. And oh, looking for the disruption here. Brogy getting taken on a ride. Two matches ago, uh, we played square one. They're an unsigned team, so, um, you know, like, I guess they're just inexperienced. So, um, I feel like we took advantage of that. Uh, we were able to get a quick quarrel. They don't have the combo up just yet, but they have five other ones, really. That's cool, and they're looking to move in here. Shatter in from Gator, it's four! Four on the floor for Gator! We haven't been doing much like individual team preparation. Like, I don't think we really worry too much about that. We just worry about what we play and what we do. So, uh, maybe like an hour before the match, we might go over a few things we might see from them. Um, but other than that, we pretty much just do uh, exactly normal practice schedule. We don't like change too much depending on the opponent each week. So today we're playing the Washington Justice. Uh, we're looking to redeem ourselves from our match on Friday against the Valiant, where we played super close and we had some moments of greatness, but we also had a lot of moments of failure and we could have done a lot better. So today against uh, the Justice, we're looking to keep those moments of greatness. Help Rosaria, help Rosaria. You grab, you grab, you grab. Don't forget to grab. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'm not there right now. I'm throwing my, I'm throwing my email. Oh, I didn't do it. I think in our matches, you've had two polar opposites where if we're really confident, we're playing like super aggressive and we, we punish mistakes, which is the way you want to play aggressive in. You don't want to just bring less aggro. You want to make sure that you see the enemy team do something wrong and then you engage after that. When you see us play too passive though, we do neither of that. We don't play brain dead aggro, but we also don't punish mistakes. And that comes with, with the new per people and, and the nerves we have a little bit. Uh, but now after we've played three games, I hope those nerves slowly start going away and we start playing like, I know we can, uh, where we punish mistakes, but we don't play over aggressive. There was a lot of moments where uh, two people on our team went right side and four people went left side, you know. We put super big emphasis on fixing that kind of stuff and making sure that we are all listening to one guy if they make the call and we all like, follow up on the leader. I'm gonna mesh it, I'm gonna mesh it. Mesh it one, mesh it one, mesh it one. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. So going into today against the Washington Justice, I know we won't underestimate them because our team really needs this win. Like we have to win this match if we want to have a chance to play stage playoffs. So we hope today will be the start of our, our win streak and the end of our slump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, don't do that dude, that's cringy. That's cringy, Cash, don't do that. Dogman. He's like giving himself a paper cut. I had fucking, I had fucking six, seven days things in my fucking room <laughs> yesterday. I was jumping and killing. Kill I heard them all last yeah, night jumping around above close. me, dude. I think generally we we've, we've been practicing really hard and with their new roster it's been uh, it's been a challenge for sure but um, we've been hard grinding a few maps you know our weaknesses such as Koth you know King of the Hill or Koth you can use them interchangeably but <clears throat> it basically is control point in Overwatch which means that there's a point in the middle of the map and two teams start on equally equally distant sides of the map and then they have to go to the middle of the uh, map and try to control the point and the team that controls it the longest basically wins. Sim back right still, sim back right still. I think in terms of, of the long term, it's pretty important to 4-0 today. Um, I think that generally the stage is pretty hard to, to reel back in. Um, but I think if we if we set our sights on something, you know, if we, if we have some goals that we can achieve or that we feel like we can achieve, um, I feel like in terms of our long term success of, you know, the Atlanta Rain, because, you know, just because we made playoffs last stage doesn't mean we were going to be good this stage, right? So it's like just because we're bad this stage doesn't mean we're going to be 
good, uh, bad the next stage, right? So it's like constantly trying to improve and, and get better. And as long as you can get, get better and try to win, then I think that's the most important thing. Today we have to do to, to pull off our strategies correctly. I think that we have to not only communicate, but make sure we're on, on the, just generally on the same page naturally. So we're just in constant flow and constant rotation. Um, because we watch VODs and stuff and, and watch other teams and see how you know we can improve our play in comparison um, Because there's also like in basketball There's a, a famous coach now I guess for the Golden State Warriors Steve Kerr He says like how he just he doesn't make his own strategies He just copies other people's strategies like from the from the greats or not not copy But like you try to perfect it and make it better But it's like you, that's their base right and you know you can't it's hard to make a strategy on your own and then be the best at it so it's best to take other people's strategies and what they're doing and make it your own and try to try to do well with it. So I think once we understand that and get a better understanding of it, today's game should be should be good. Let's go ahead and get our first team out on the stage. Let's welcome the Atlanta Reign. Changes here, even being one fight away. They had Barrage. I would have liked to see a Barrage, but I'm a big Farrah fan. Two ultimates committed to this fight from the Reign. That's fine. As long as you win it and you win it like this, first turn, maybe this got to be ready. Just waiting for them to commit to the point. Yep, sure enough, they peek out. Four of them hacked on the side of the Justice, and that is going to be a one fight for the raid. Moss is going to commit the sound barrier. Only three get it, but it's still going to make it too much for the Justice to handle. And somehow the raid have done it. And that shield will crack very quickly. Oh, perfect barrage, though. Excellent work from Otto. Gets right in over the top, but there's nowhere to hide. A nice kill from Corey. Let's see if they try to resurrect it. You know, really putting some pressure on Erster, though. He's not able to find a place to get comfy. And what a sleep on a Corey. He's not going anywhere but spawn. Dogman with the kill, nicely done. Right, they got tank mode out, the barrage is ready. There's the EMP. Giannis takes out his opposing number. Erster falls. It's all over, but the crying as the justice will take Paris. Okay, remember that if they have Arisha, Arisa Bastion, right? We have to determine, do they have a Widow or not? Do they have a hit scan? Viking Ball, get, uh, anyway. So they're just gonna hold right out here. Graviton comes out. Full clear from Pogfo, that's bonkers! Oh, it ends up destruction, just everything getting thrown into the fight on the rain side. Two kills here, and the Justice once again back to very familiar ground at this point. All the way, Pogfo body blocking as well, the delay on Otto! But they're nearing a, a nano boost as well. Oh, there it is, EMP right over the top, that's a whole lot of hacks, oh, 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 oh. that is brutal! The stick from Erster, four kills, no way to defend themselves. Erster just aced it, six kills for him. Going to the three on three. And well, they are getting cut up here because Pokepo's decided to just go angry right. Does manage to chuck Corey into the drink. Addo as well. And now Pokepo is looking for more. More stagger kills. Guido gets caught out in the open. A single kill could do it. Otto falls very low. Giannis sends him Otto all down and gone. That's it, that's over, that's your match. That is the done, the job done here for the Atlanta Reign. They get three wins. We won a game! Nice. This is the start of a new era, dude. We're gonna win against New York two times, and then we go playoffs. <laughs> this fucking stage, playoffs. You too, dude. <laughs> no. NYXL man. You turn around, you gotta dodge like 10 people. We can beat NYXL at least one time. No, one fucking time. time, at least. Two times. I said that, I said at least. Two times. I said at least. Definitely two times. I said at least. Two times. Least. Two times. Least. 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 Bro, come on. So we play Casper. Like Alright. Okay. It's oh. For interviews, it's gonna be Dogman on camera. Baby Bay on camera. Masa off camera. Pride off camera.
Damn it, they don't like My that. face is good enough for fucking camera? Good job, go in there and just yell at them. Job, really, guys? <laughs> yeah. fucking really? Yeah. really? Am I not handsome? My shirt's tucked in. Yeah. Everything yeah. else. Come on, dude. Oh, look how fucking my mind is. I always fucking think It's full, bro. Let's try it. It's fucking full. I think getting the win over Justice felt relatively good. I think what's more important is the, the days after how we reacted, I guess, because like I didn't, during the game I was really serious because I just wanted to, you know, at least win that game and Justice is arguably one of the worst teams in the league. So I think that I wanted to look forward more towards the future during that game and look more towards the NYXL game. So I really, you know, concentrated on winning against NYXL because if we win against New York, you know, that'd be huge. I really think I have a lot of motivation going forward towards that match. I think my lowest point is probably after that LA Valiant game because I really gave that all my effort um, and you know gave a lot of emotion towards that game. So after that, I think uh, that was probably my lowest point. But like today, especially, I think I have a new goal going forward and new motivations. And I think overall, as a team, the faster we understand those motivations and, and set our own goals, you know. We can start to do well again. Five, two, three, two, one, go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Go, 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 go. One back left. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I think, I think win or lose on both games, on the charge game or NYXL, I think it's important to stay motivated and, and keep winning. I mean, personally, uh, on those two games, if we can really, you know, if I can inv individually play well and I can individually motivate the team and, you know, keep us, keep us in it, um, I think that's important. I mean, as long as I can do my job well. It feels good to finally win. I, I feel like going to map five and then losing feels a lot worse than like getting just absolutely rolled, you know, like a 4-0. Um, so I think some of the players um, were a little bit demoralized after losing two map fives. But I think this will put us on the right foot and um, get us moving forward. Uh, it's only ball, only ball. Uh, no, 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 they don't, they don't. Be aggressive, come on, make moves. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come I think uh, just confidence. I think we, we played with confidence against Washington, um, a lot more so than against Boston and Valiant. Um, the Boston match, we didn't really have that much practice, but um, the Washington game, obviously, they're not the strongest of teams, but I think we played really decisively then. Again, just everybody showed up to play. I think we, we showed up with confidence and um, just played to our strengths, and I think they caught us off guard on Paris a little bit, but um, other than that, we just proved that we were the better team and played like it as well. Six kills credited to Erster. All right, let's go. Let's see it, Erster. Where did he find his way in? Because this is perfectly timed. Yep, right in, right in the mix as they all back off as a group. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm already a champion, so I'm just going to focus on the mind. Okay, let's go. Oh, 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 3-3의 그 중심인데 그 둘이 되게 잘하니까 뭔가 팀합도 되게 좋고 네, 저희는 약간 리빌딩을 초반에 해가지고 스테이지 2부터 리빌딩을 하게 됐는데 어, 좀 팀합이 많이 부족해서 팀합을 좀더 되게 많이 맞춰야 될것 같아요. 네 일단 최대한 열심히 해서 뭐 재밌는 경기 보여드리도록 노력해야겠죠.